Good morning, modern steaders. It's 44 degrees out this morning. It's good sleeping weather, as you can see. The pigs don't want to get out of bed yet. Morning, CWSC. All that rain we got, it's still nice and muddy in there. The goats aren't sleeping in this morning. Morning, Willow. I already put your hay out. They like that I extended the side on the hay feeder. You gotta come out for a little while. Come on out. You can come out. Come on, Willow. There you go. Go ahead, milking time. Those kids are noisy this morning. I'm enjoying this milker. I'm not 100% satisfied with it yet. I wanna to try to find a different hose. The material I have right now is food grade, but it's a very thin wall hose, so when you apply in the vacuum, the hose tends to collapse. I'm wondering if we had a thicker wall hose that didn't collapse, if we have better suction, or if it would milk quicker. Since it's your last full day of school, you want to take Karen with you? Sure. Sure. He might have, he'll have fun. Yeah. She left you, Tanner, she left you. I know. Pretty soon she'll be home all the time with you. Boy, does it feel nice to have the electrical conduit buried all the way to the house. We gotta clean it up a little bit. I got some crushed gravel right there to put down. But I want to wait for it to dry up a little bit. With all that rain we got yesterday, it's pretty muddy. Uh, the grass is so tall, Figaro's got to hop. Figaro, Tanner's got to hop around. Did you lose Pluto? Pluto, over here. Tanner, over here. Morning, everybody. It's only going to be a few more days and these guys are going to be getting harvested. Look how big they've gotten. Some of those big ones, they're going to probably be six plus pounds, I bet you. They're huge. Those Connors Cross meat birds have grown so fast. They're eight weeks today or tomorrow. And they'll be a few days over eight weeks old when we harvest them. So I just, it always amazes me. It's like, oh man, it's that time already. That sneaks up on you. Eight weeks, that's quicker than it takes to grow a radish. <laughs> it's just amazing that we can grow chicken in eight weeks. 
Figaro. And we get to use the new farm wagon today. Today is gonna to be the first of many things. First time using the wagon on the Kubota. All right, we gotta lower that down. I hope we don't gotta drill anything. I think we got it. in our kits for the post and beam barn down to the barn site. So first we need to take off this top layer here. This is for one of the eave overhangs and we need to start building with these parts. So we gotta offload this onto the trailer, bring it down there, and then we can get to our six by sixes right here for the main barn structure. The barn kits from jamaicacottageshop.com. I'll have a link in the description down below with a promo code for 10% off your order if you place an order before the end of June. This job right here is the main reason why we built this hay wagon. I could have had the construction company that did the dirt work haul this down there, but our field is way too muddy and wet for that. If we would have done that, it would have been all rutted up and then we would have had to repair the pasture. So. I figured, you know what, instead of doing that, let's just build the trailer and we'll haul it down by hand. So this is everything we're gonna need for our eave overhangs of the barn construction. We got our strapping, our tin, our roof rafters, our main, pressure treated six by sixes, our four by four upright posts. And I don't know what exactly this other stuff is, but when we get into the plans, we'll figure it out. Now I'm assuming this is strapping for the roof, but they do give us extras. So if there's no labels, like there is no labels, this is extra material. That's good to know. Strapped one more time. Let's 
So all the rafters are cut and notched the way they need to be, which is nice. So that way when we go to put everything together, we don't have to do all the cutting. All nice rough cut, full dimension lumber. I like it. These are the corner parts for the uprights. Those are all cut with nice 45s. That's nice. One of the nice things about going through and offloading the pile is we know what's in there. We can figure out what the stuff is for and we'll have an idea when we're building. I think if we can get all the roof rafters on the first load, bring that down, that'll be this top bundle. And then the next bundle will make a good load too. I'm thinking maybe two trips. <laughs> We got a bunch of stickers so we can put that under the load and we stack it up down below. Thinking maybe I should have built some tie down straps holders on the trailer. Then we could have secured our loads in a little bit. Now I'm not sure if these have a job. I don't think so because there's no label on them. Like this little piece has a job and there's a label on it. These don't, but we will definitely save them. These all have a job. I use them for spacers and they're for part of the project too. So it's good to know all that. We've had this barn kit sitting here since I believe April. I'll put a link right here to a playlist of the barn in that it has the delivery, the factory tour we took of where they build the kit. And we ordered it back in November and we've had it sitting on the property since, I want to say April. The reason we took the delivery of it when we did is if we get it delivered within 90 days of ordering it, we got free shipping. We ordered it when we did because they were running an awesome sale at the time. So all, all that to say, this stuff looks awesome. It is still in really good shape. I'm not seeing anything warped, cracked. It's been sitting here for a couple of months now, out in our weather. They did an awesome job wrapping it and protecting it from the weather. I'm happy with all of it so far. It's looking good, guys, looking good. All right, guys, mental note to myself. Next time we go out, we need to get some bigger hooks. We're gonna hook this load in. I know if we don't, we're gonna find it in the pasture somewhere. So. Let's do. Let's see how this works. Oh, sorry if you can't see if I'm hitting you on the decking. All right. The nice thing about these nice pink ratchet straps is they got a little lock on them. So if you're working by yourself, they stay. It was a viewer that sent these up. His screen name is something to do with Little White Dorothy or something like that. He's from New York. Thank you. I use these straps all the time. They are the best. I wish I could remember your screen name better. Little White Dorothy, I believe. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. Hoping it's just long enough. I think so. Oh, oh. We don't want those falling on our head, guys. That would not be good. Oh, there, ready. 
Come on. All right, there you go. That'll work. All right, I'm hoping that this is enough to hold the load in place. I'm gonna go slow, but there are some bumps, so guess we'll find out, guys. Awesome. We made it over guys. The first load <laughs> with no issues. We didn't get stuck. It went up our ramp good. Ah, oh, that's exciting. Don't want to set it in the gravel. I mean, I guess I could settle over there. You know what? We're going to set it there for now. If I regret it, we'll have to move it. Oh, look at that, they even cut the last sheet to the width you need it, guys. That is awesome. Oh, they think of everything over there at Jamaica Cottages. stack all this lumber where it's out of the way but not too far away so when we need it for the build it's right there and I also want to stack it in order so we're not having to rumble through the pile trying to find the pieces of wood we need. So far the trail is working perfect. Uh, all right get some bigger lumber on there now get some six by sixes so these are our main plates i forget what this notch is called but they'll stack on top of each other and we'll bolt it down oh yeah that's some weight there guys six by sixes i don't know it's gotta be can't be 15 feet long because there's three of them but it's pretty long. Got our hardware, some more stuff. I think this is gonna be our heaviest timber. All right, no, it's gonna be our heaviest timber in this batch anyways. Hardware it says right on it color black 16 D's 8 D's color black reference screws. I don't know. That's definitely all of our hardware. I'll make sure that gets in the house. All of our corner braces. I need them.
So these are gonna be the other three uprights. We're gonna have four of them. And these are gonna be our top beams that go across the top. One of the reasons I chose this kit is it's a big building, but the way it's designed, it should be manageable by one person to build it without any machinery like cranes or anything like that. They recommend having two people building it. I'm pretty confident one person can do it. Look at this, we even got the flashing to flash the two roofs together. Thank you. Tells us what it is, aluminum flashing. Stick that right here for now. Oh man, there's such a beautiful breeze today. This weather right here reminds me why we moved up to Northern New Hampshire. pencil marks for something. I'm not sure what those are gonna be for. That must be where the rafters set. That is awesome. Man, they thought of everything to mark out where the rafters go. Oh, Jamaica cottages, nice. I didn't know that, guys. Now this is my first time building a Jamaica cottage shop building. And man, here's another board all marked out with layout for something. I'm not sure what that board is. It must be the end eve board. It's gonna mark where your rafters go. It must be two of them. Yep, another one right here. So man, they thought of it, there's three. I wonder if the other one has pencil mark on it. I bet it does. That's so convenient. has pencil mark that one has pencil mark I bet this one does too yep awesome I don't know where it goes but something to do with the roof system and I tell you what that's gonna make life so much easier save us a step or two that's for sure we left New York City with our windows down we couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud I will stand on your board. Let's get this strapped up and ready to haul down to the building site. going through the lumber on the trailer as I restack it and trying to figure out where it's going to go in the building process so again I can grab it when I need it and I won't have to dig through the pile to find it later on.
So what do I think after the first day of working with our Jamaican cottage kit? Man, I wish I could start building it right now. No joke, guys. This kit is amazing. I can't believe the craftsmanship, the quality, the details that I'm seeing so far. And this is just the overhang. Next, we get to get into the kit for the main structure. I wish there was more time in the day. That's going to have to wait till another day. But soon, that's going to be going up. And I can't wait, guys. Uh, it's going to be a blast. How was your last full day of school? Good. Good. Sad. Sad? Yeah, because it was our last full day of school. Yeah, you're almost there. <laughs> now she's daydreaming of the big pasture. Soon, Magnolia, soon. Yeah, soon. Drink all your water. So muddy in the pig pen with that inch and a quarter of rain we got yesterday. Hopefully in a day it'll be dried up nicely. Whoa! I'll trade you. How many eggs do you think? How many did we get yesterday? Two. Uh, we got five yesterday. No, we got two. Oh, we did. We got five yesterday. Um, what? One. Da! Two. All right, ladies, what's going on? I upped your feed. I moved you to a new location. I'm not happy. We gotta try getting you a higher percentage feed, protein feed, or what? Well, that might be today's dilemma. There's no water. It's on. All right, what's going on? That's empty. I took this time as an opportunity to clean out the inside of the water barrel the best I could. And we're gonna fill it up with some, with 10 gallons of water for now. I left a few gallons of water, probably five gallons in the rainwater barrel. Should I say I filled it up with five gallons from the hose? Ugh much as we could lift. I wonder when we ran out of water. It was full this morning, so they haven't been without water very long. I don't know why that happened with all the rain we got yesterday. The other reason why I like these five gallon water is they fit perfectly into a hole in a five gallon, 55 gallon drum, and they make it convenient to fill that up that way. Now we can hook their water back up. I wonder if there was a loose fitting. If it drained out or what the deal is. I bet there was a loose fitting. Sometimes right here, maybe the down, I bet you it's on a downhill slope. So it probably wasn't hitting this. Keep it up there guys. I forget you guys are way over there. I'm over here watching the water pour and going, yep, it's working. And you're over there. 
It's working. Maybe you can hear it. Ah, oh, they got fresh water again. Now that we're done with all of the construction dirt work, having the excavator in and the heavy equipment and the concrete trucks, we can get this little pasture area fenced off for the goats and let the goats out on fresh grass when we're home and around to keep an eye on them. It's so nice that we're able to get stop being able to get the animals out. Next, we're going to be focused on getting the pigs into a new pasture area. I can't wait. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. This is an exciting time at the homestead. It's so exciting to finally be able to building the barn. This barn project, this has been something we've been dreaming and saving for five years anyways. We've always known we wanted a barn and a workshop, so we've always been setting aside to, to get there. And it feels so good to see it finally starting to come to fruition. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us. I'll we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Thank you.